Yo, what is going on YouTube? You're all very welcome back for second, the second part of the JTAG tutorial and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to use FXP, Flash FXP to copy games from your computer or external hard drive over to your JTAG. Now some of you guys have not noticed, um, I'm going to be showing you um, a lot of JTAG tutorials and mods and stuff like that for JTAGs on my channel. I have noticed that with the trust the modder this is how I started doing videos but I just used to upload lobbies and stuff and I didn't really make tutorials but I thought like a lot of people if they're new to JTAGs and they don't really know about JTAGs that it would be very handy just to kind of get these videos out there because I do try my best I did have a successful channel before and it just got taken away from me but you know what can you do so all you need to do is just install this program guys that's all you need to do and just go to your XEX menu make sure that you have your um, an Ethernet cable going from your laptop into the back of your JTAG and you need to get the IP sometimes this will not work just bear that in mind sometimes it will not work so as you can see I have no IP address there now because my um, Ethernet cable is actually loose in my console I know that you guys can actually see that but um, all you need to do to make sure that everything is working you need to go to your network settings and if you do not have a wired network on your Xbox then it's obvious that you know that your Ethernet cable isn't actually plugged in and mine wasn't actually plugged in there because I was doing something a minute ago but I'll just plug it in there now to see if I can get, get the wired connection come on now Xbox give me the wired connection come on there we go we have a wired connection my ethernet cables aren't very good guys they're bad so just uh, st bear with me for a second so if it doesn't work for you the first time all you need to do is just power off your JTAG and just give it a second hold down on the controller and just power it back on again now my control or my JTAG makes a weird noise every time it boots up because the laser in the disc tray is actually broke but I'm going to try and help you guys out to the best I can so hopefully that you guys won't go mad at me when I don't show you the JTAG itself but I'm going to try and give you a brief description in my voice to tell you what to do so once your JTAG turns on all you need to do is just click on the profile you want to sign in press no if it asks you and all you need to do then is just go to your system and just make sure that you're on a word connection so once you're on a word connection all you need to do is go to your games folder go to my games go into XEX menu and all you need to do is press RB you should get an IP press RB twice you should get an IP so all you want to do is close out that flash FXP for a second I'm just going to drag this over here and just launch up flash FXP again click I accept you can crack this program as well if you guys intend to all you need to do then is just type in that IP that you have on the end of the screen on XAX menu so mine's 192.168.137.77 username is xbox okay no caps and your password is the exact same hit enter and if you have done it successfully it will give you this hard drive and you will be able to see everything that's on your xbox like your JTAG all you need to do then is just go to your if you have an external hard drive plugged in just go to your external hard drive I have a folder here called Xbox games I don't need really many games on it but then we have black ops 2 so all you need to really do is just make a folder in your games folder just make a new folder and call it black ops 2 and just hit OK and open that folder and then just open this go into black ops 2 and all you want to do then is just copy every single file straight from the bottom just drag up to the top here go right on our parent dictionary just drag and drop it's going to give you a timer down on the end of the screen and it's just basically copying over every single file from the game onto your JTAG so I'm just going to pause the video guys because this does take around a half an hour and I will show you it once it's done okay guys so yeah guys thanks for watching and I will be back with you in about two to three seconds All right. once uh, this is finished like I'm just going to pause the video here 
Okay guys, so I'm back and I actually got an error message here, but uh, sometimes I just thought that I'd show you guys this because sometimes this does happen. If it does actually happen to you, all you need to do is turn off your console, okay, and just restart your JTAG again. Um, I'm getting this error because my ethernet cables are actually, one. I think one end of the ethernet cable is actually broke and it's very hard to kind of get a really good connection off that. But um, I actually don't even need to be copying these games over because I have them on my external hard drive and my external hard drive does work with my JTAG. But the main reason I'm making this video is to show you guys how to copy games over. And sometimes you will get errors if your um, disk tray is broke or anything like that and you're using FTP because you're copying over using an internet connection and you, you know, it's just... You know, it's like really, really hard to just establish a really, really good connection. So all you need to do is just click on delete all, okay, and just go to your quick connect and type in 192.168.137.85 is mine. Xbox as your username, as I said before, and the password is the exact same. And just hit connect. And as you can see, it's just after connecting me again. So all you need to do is go back into the Black Ops 2 folder, just go back and you just want to go to your, scroll down to you, you find your JTAG hard drive, external hard drive or whatever device that you're using. If it's on your computer all you need to do is go to the C drive and I'm just going to find Xbox games again, Black Ops 2, go into the main folder and I'm just going to copy every file stand from the bottom and we started from the bottom now we here <laughs> but uh, anyway guys just click on um, resume all and as you can see you'll get a timer down the bottom of the screen and hopefully everything is going to work for me okay in this and that the internet cables are secure and um, basically what this is doing right now is it's just transferring every single file from my external hard drive of black ops 2 over to the black ops 2 folder on my JTAG so I can actually play the game without even having a disc in the tray very very handy I can even replace files with modder files That's, this is basically what a JTAG allows you to do is host modder lobbies it's an unsigned code stuff like that so yeah guys I will be back as soon as this video is done Um, well this thing here is done but I really think I'm going to get another error I don't actually think this is going to work because my internet cable is just too bad yeah as you can see guys it's just not working for me but uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did enjoy the video, guys, um, just drop a like on the video and leave a comment. It really helps me out. Alright, peace. Bye-bye.